warahmatullahi wabarakatuh brothers and sisters we just had a glimpse of balkans uh there's a very popular tour last for the last one year i mean this balkan tour comes of visiting bosnia croatia macedonia i mean all the nearby places it's a good trip in a 10 days tour trip and if you want to know more information about it please go and contact group of halal tours you can visit their website which is www.groupohalaltours.com now it's an interesting dish that will be coming up soon just after this message from the sponsors thank you to the cooking part i just want to say a few words there are our non muslim brothers and sisters who have asked me some of the arabic words that i use in my cooking and they're not familiar well in my first episode description i gave the meaning of each word but anyway i'm happy to repeat that now i very often i mention alhamdulillah uh, mashallah bismillah we refer everything to our creator so uh, our creator's name in arabic is called allah so when we say alhamdulillah that means we thank allah when we say mashallah allah has willed and when we say bismillah in the name of allah and very often you'll see muslims greeting each other assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah that means may god peace be upon you that's how it is so i will very often muslims will be using these words in everyday life so likewise when i do my cooking show very often you'll be hearing this voice keep on asking about this information don't be shy i'm very very happy to explain to you all right now back to the cooking today now today i'm going to make pasta in minced beef sauce well i know many of you would have tried but try i'm doing it the baba's way okay now cameraman can you come closer focus at the ingredients well look at here we have elbow which has been pre cooked already now another suggestion when you cook pasta with the boiling water please put some olive oil uh, because you not stick to each other and put some salt as well all right so this is already pre cooked okay then we need some diced tomato then um, some chopped onions then this is pre cooked beef 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 i've already i've already cooked the beef in warm water just warm water and a bit of salt that's about it and i strained it and then here we have and then we have some olive oil garlic and tomato sauce well those are the ingredients for the cooking today and please follow me to my stock come on over come on bismillahir rahmanir rahim we have turn oil wow let it get a bit warmer okay let it get a bit warm okay we have to heat up the pan so i think it's almost it okay what we do is put a bit of oil olive oil this is olive oil okay right here a bit enough and then spread it out a bit spread it out here then what we do is uh, you know in the italian cooking they love garlic they like tomatoes so uh, a little bit more garlic this time here we go look at okay that's fine maybe a bit if you like a bit a bit more hmm cameraman can you smell the aroma oh okay before it if it, before it turns brown i'm going to put a little bit of um chop not now a little bit i leave the other half for the next round now first what we'll do is just and next goes the minced beef a bit more oil because it looks a bit dry so let me put um, a bit more oil 
Yeah, olive oil. This all olive oil. Now, of course, uh, you can put some chili powder or Kenyan powder. As I mentioned earlier, this minced beef is already cooked. So you don't need to cook too long. You just have to warm it up and then scramble with the rest of the ingredients. Yeah, what I'm doing now is stirring and mixing it together. Okay. Now let me add some condiments. Well, this time I'll add the salt, a bit of salt here. Yeah, give me a little salt here. And then a bit, a bit of pepper, a little bit of pepper, not too much. Just a little, right, just a little. And then, there goes the, I just put half of it, look at that, only half of it. Not too much. I'll leave it for the, at the end, to use at the end. Mmm. <laughs> only if you're here, you can smell the aroma. I'll put in the rest of the onions, rest of the onions. Okay, good. Keep on stirring. Then, then goes the tomatoes. I'll put all the tomatoes, yes, at one go. All the tomatoes. Look at that sizzling sound. Look at that sizzling sound. Oh, wow. I will close it. So while we are waiting, Look at this beautiful packing. Cameraman, come on over. Please come on over. Have a look at it. Well, these are beautiful packaging. I mean, they have dates. It's filled up with Ajwa dates, the Rolls Royce of dates. These Ajwa dates are from Medina, Saudi Arabia. And our Prophet, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, highly recommended for us to consume dates. So this is one of the Ajwa dates. It's one of the best dates. And they come in these boxes, well packed in these boxes. You can use for all occasions. You can, you know, when you have a, when you have wedding function or parties, you can place on each table uh, for each for each guest. And it's a good, good gift, good premium gift. And also during Ramadan, you got Eid Mubarak here. You have the word Eid Mubarak. So they all fill up with dates. So inshallah, try it. I mean, take it. I'm going to try one piece while it's cooking. Mm, let me try. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Mashallah, beautiful. Buy, buy Ajwa dates. And they're available in Grupo Halal Foods. Visit their website www.grupohalalfoods.com. Okay, now it's time. It's time. Okay, Woo -hoo. look at that stomach. Oh my goodness. Mm. Man, I don't know how to explain it. The aroma is really, really. Mm. Now, now is the time to add the ketchup. A bit of ketchup here. Just spread it out. Just spread it out. Yes, here you go. Uh -huh. And then pour the oil. Right. And let's finish off all the garlic. Okay, now. Stir it. Stir it. Mix it up. Now I'm going to increase the heat slightly. Interestingly, of course, most of the time people pour the, the sauce, I mean the meat sauce, whatever sauce they made, on top of the pasta. But what I'm doing is, I am putting the pasta on top of the meat sauce. So it's a bit different, but that's how I've been preparing all these years. Now look at that, what I'm going to do now. Now I'm going to spread it out. Mm. Cameraman, can you smell? Cameraman, you love it? Good, mashallah. Now, now goes the, the pre-cooked fast elbow. We call it elbow, right? Spread it on top of it. Yes, on top of it. Like this. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Look at it. Is it too much? I don't know. But uh, let's put it up. Go, uh huh. Now spread it up. Okay. What I'll do is now I put a bit more salt. Now you can add 
a slice of butter on top of it if you it's up to you but uh, i think i have enough of oil this time i'll just whatever oil is left behind okay oil ah then then goes the i'll spread it around Well, I need to put a bit more oil. Yes. And then what I do is, I mix it up. Look at the way I mix it up. Now, I will mix it up. Mix it and stir it. I love, you know, I like my food to be spicy. So I'm going to add some chili powder. It's up to you, but I love to add chili powder. Right, there we go. Bismillah. Now, what I do, I rotate the pan and then I keep on mixing, mixing. Okay. Just leave it close. Just leave for about 30 seconds. Then it's done. Now, to the table. Well, there you have it. The pasta with the minced beef sauce is made Baba's way, Baba's Halal Kitchen. Now, where's the taster? Here you are. Okay, I'm gonna put some more. Keep it dry. Okay, here you go. Cameraman, do you want to have some? I know you want to have some, but please be patient. Let us see the taster, okay? Let us see the taster. Now, for the audience out there, if you want to add more olive oil, please go ahead. If you want to add cheese, grated cheese, fine, go ahead. But uh, in my case, I don't use much, I don't use cheese, uh, but I use less oil. Okay, here we go. Oh my, stay heavy. Say Bismillah before you eat. Bismillah. Okay. Mmm, really good. Really good. There you have it. Look at the good said good. I didn't pay him money to say that. I mean, he's a he's a he's a fair income boy. He'll tell the truth. If he likes it, he'll say he likes it. If he doesn't like it, he'll also say he doesn't like it. So he really fair income. I'm very happy that uh, I'm able to share this recipe with you. Overwhelmed, of course, overwhelmed by your support and your encouragement, and keep on uh, keep on watching my videos and. Well, that's it for this time. Watch out for my next exciting episode of Baba's Halal Kitchen. Don't forget to share my Facebook with all your, your friends and family, all your contacts. Please share my Facebook details, which is Baba's Halal Kitchen. Okay, thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.